The popular baby formula Similac has been linked to a serious and potentially fatal condition known as necrotizing enterocolitis, or NEC, in premature babies. In this video, I'm going to discuss why Similac causes NEC and break down the current lawsuits against Abbott Laboratories Incorporated. Please make sure to stick around till the end when I'll give you my best recommendations on what you should do if your child was injured or died after using Similac baby formula. Hey friends, I'm Kyle Newman, personal injury and products liability attorney based in New York City. There's a lot of information I wanna cover in this video, so if you have any questions at all about NEC or any of the claims that are being made against Abbott Laboratories, please leave me a message in the comments or contact my firm directly to discuss your case. So first up, Necrotizing enterocolitis, NEC, what is it? All right, so when a baby is born premature, which is technically less than 37 weeks of pregnancy, or the baby is born with a low birth weight, which would be under 2,500 grams or roughly five and a half pounds, when that happens, it places the child at an increased risk for this very serious medical condition known as NEC, which stands for necrotizing enterocolitis. The National Institute of Child Health and Human Development estimates that of the approximate 2% of preterm babies that are diagnosed with NEC, anywhere between 15 to 40% of them will die from this disease. And studies have shown that the smaller the infant or the more premature the baby is, the greater the risk of developing NEC in the child. So if we actually look at this condition, NEC, you can see why it's such a danger to premature or low birth weight children. What happens here is that a portion of the digestive tract, it becomes inflamed as a result of these cow milk based formulas. So much so that a portion of the bowel actually necroses or dies. And when this happens, a tear or a hole opens in the digestive tract, allowing for bacteria that normally live in our digestive system to spread into the body where it's just not supposed to be. And this can result in a very serious infection and sepsis, which is when the body has a global reaction to a localized infection, typically when that infection is so bad that it enters into the bloodstream. Look, NEC is serious enough in a healthy full-term baby, but when you have a premature infant whose vital organs and tissues are not yet fully developed, it's gonna be that much harder for the child to fight off a serious infection, leading to a much higher rate of serious injury and death due to NEC. In some cases, babies that develop NEC will recover without any intervention, but oftentimes the damage is so bad that it requires major surgery to repair. And look, anytime you're performing surgery on a baby, let alone one that's underweight or premature, there's gonna be a huge risk to the child for permanent injury and even death. So why are there lawsuits against Abbott Laboratories? Look, several major studies have shown that when you introduce cow milk, like the formula in Similac, as opposed to breast milk or other dairy substitutes, it greatly increases the risk of NEC, primarily because cow milk can irritate the bowel. Think like an allergic reaction where there's inflammation, swelling, irritation, and in this case, it becomes so bad that the blood flow to that area of the digestive tract is actually cut off. And when that happens, tissue is going to die. And that opens up a pathway for bacteria to travel into the body where it shouldn't be. Although Similac may be safe for full-term infants, it's been proven that it's extremely dangerous for premature babies. In fact, premature infants fed with Similac are 10 times more likely to develop NEC as compared to preemies fed with breast milk or other non-cow-based formulas. These studies have resulted in some of the biggest medical societies, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, to issue cautions to the parents and medical providers treating premature babies against the use of cow milk formulas like Similac for precisely this reason. Similac is made by a company you may have heard of, Abbott Laboratories. It's an American-based multinational company out of Illinois that manufactures a whole variety of medical devices and healthcare products. Some of them you've probably heard of, including Similac, Pediasure, Pedialyte, uh, Insure, Glucerna, 
and the Freestyle Libre glucose monitoring system. And to get an idea of just the size of Abbott Labs, in 2020 alone, they had over $35 billion of revenue and they employ over 100,000 people worldwide. Manufacturers of products like Abbott Labs have a duty to warn their customers and the public about known risks that are associated with their products. However, in this case, despite being aware of all this evidence that cow milk based formulas like Similac significantly increase the risk of NEC and death in infants, Abbott Labs deliberately chose to omit a specific warning on this product. And this failure to warn is the basis of the cases that are being filed against Abbott Labs around the country right now. Product liability cases like this are extremely complex and there are certain time requirements for the filing of actions based on the state where you live. So if you're watching this right now and either you or a loved one had a premature or underweight baby that was fed Similac and developed NEC, don't wait to reach out to an experienced product liability attorney because you may be entitled to compensation for the damage caused by Abbott Labs against your child and you deserve it. At the end of the day, every parent deserves to know that the formula they're feeding their child, whether born full term or premature, is safe. And in this case, if it's proven that Abbott Labs intentionally omitted this information and failed to warn innocent parents and their children of this danger, they must be held accountable. All right, that about wraps it up. My name's Kyle Newman. I hope this information has helped. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or reach out to us directly. Stay safe out there and God bless.